Okay, hello guys. So this is the Redmi 10C with the code name as this FOG Fog. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to unlock with all the respawn, flash custom recovery, and also root respawn. This tutorial can be applied on the latest firmware and all the files and instructions are provided in my blog so check the link description box okay after you gain a root access you can play around by installing models viper smiley and other stuff okay so stay tuned and check it out <music> Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Om Bob. And today we have the Redmi 10C With the code name is FOG, F -O -G. Okay, And today we are going to install a custom recovery And also root our pawn using mages okay. First thing I want to show you as usual is the Exciting system Okay, let's go to the system about pawn <coughs> You can see right here it's using the MIU version 13.0.4 on Android 11. Okay. Uh, it has several specs. Some of them has 4 gigabytes of RAM and other have 6 gigabytes. Okay. The first thing you need to do is enable the MIU version. Go back, insert your MIU account, additional settings and then developer options and it should turn on this OM unlock okay and me unlock status and then add account after that you need to wait for seven days to unlock the pawn okay <coughs> until this video is made there is now instant unlock bootloader for this pawn so you have to wait for seven days okay and I have wait for seven days so we can unlock this pawn. Okay, let's open the ID64. Let's check the system Redmi 10C code name FOG. Okay, uh, the CPU is using a Qualcomm Snapdragon 68 uh, on 6 nanometer. Nice. Make sure you have remove all emails. If you forgot, uh, you will get locked. Okay. And backup all the data because the process will format all your internal storage. <clears throat> okay. That's all for unlocking. There is lots of tutorial including in my channel. It's very easy, uh, and I will not show you in here. Okay. Now let's turn off the phone. And let's go to the fast boot mode. <clears throat> yeah, as usual, fast boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time. Okay. And when you see the screen, the black screen with the fast boot text, it means that we are in the fast boot mode. Okay, let's plug the USB cable. Okay, <clears throat> and now let's switch the screen. Okay, in here I already opened the me unlock and logging to my account. Okay, usually you log in using the email and the password. Okay, then hit the unlock. As I said before, I have already wait for seven days. I unlock anyways. Uh, hit one more time it will start the percentage okay when it's finished the pawn will automatically reboot and format the internal storage yeah let's close this one 
and you can see now it's formatting the data okay after formatting the data it will restart the pond okay but because we don't want to wait until it goes to the home screen <coughs> let's force the pond to put it into the facebook again okay just press the volume down and power button like before and here we go okay now let's plug the USB cable again so this is the steps and this is all the files and both of them I will <coughs> put it in my blog the link in, is in the description box okay okay now let's open the PowerShell let's check the bootloader status this was space for um, space device space info <clears throat> and we go our device is already unlocked now uh, let's put into the custom recovery <clears throat> this type fast boot space boot uh okay I'll just copy this one <clears throat> hey uh just click and drag the file and the pawn will be booted into the custom recovery okay <clears throat> so just for your information we cannot directly flash the custom recovery so we have to flash the boot image and then we're going to make it permanent by flashing into the ram this okay so let's switch screen uh, reset the okay let's change the brightness <clears throat> okay and now let's go to the advance and find the uh, menu install recovery ram this Okay, and find where you have your file. Okay, I already put it in the Mac RSD. And select, select this one. Okay, we're, we're using the TRP 3.6.1. And swipe it. Okay. It will make the custom recovery permanent, permanently. <clears throat> And after this, it's always a good idea to wake up the yeah, FS modem. Just for cautions, if there's something wrong, we can restore it. Okay. And when it finishes, we can reboot to the customer recovery again, just to make sure that the customer recovery is permanent. Okay, let's back up the EFS, go to the backup option, enable compression for a smaller size and then let's select the metadata, EFS and modem okay let's swipe it this is for backup okay you can put it in the micro SD or put it in your computer and if there are some mistake you can always restore it <clears throat> Okay, done. Now let's go to the custom recovery again. Hit the home button, select reboot and recovery. Now we are in the custom recovery. Okay, let's go to the install and find where you have your edges. Okay, put it in here and here. We're using the magis 25.1, the stable one. But you can always use the beta or the canary. Okay. Start flashing. <clears throat> and when it's finished, uh, we need to format the data. Okay, just for cautions. Repacking boot image and 
There you go. And after you format the pawn, okay, let's go to the Y, format data, and type this. There. Okay, after you reboot to the system, select reboot system, you have to wait about 5 minutes, okay, because after formatting the data, it uh, usually takes time, okay, I'll skip this one. And we'll continue after it boots into the Android. And now we are in the welcome screen. You all you need to do is just hit next, next until it goes to the home screen. Okay. And now we are in the home screen, but I don't see any Magis API right here. So we have to install it manually. Okay, open the file manager and find where you have your magis apk okay i put it in the uh external storage okay magis okay this one and it will ask for permission okay just give it permission <coughs> Okay, go back and install it. Okay, make sure you have connect to the internet by using the Wi-Fi or a SIM card. Okay, and when it's open, it will ask for permission. Just hit OK, and it will start reboot in five seconds. And now we are in the home screen again. So I have installed Magis APK, the root checker, and root explorer. Okay, let's open it. And we go. Now we have a working root access using Magis 25.2. This is the stable one. Okay, after this, you can play around installing the models, enable the ideas and the stuff. Okay. Okay, let's open the root explorer. Okay, this is just an example an apps that require root access. Okay, just allow it. Okay. And this is the root checker. Granted. And rooted. It's okay. Nice. And you can always install the mode right here, the smiley, the FPS injection and uh the stuff okay okay that's all guys this is a tutorial on how to root your redmi 10c using mages and custom recovery and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have last video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially xiaomi samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all Stay safe, stay healthy, and wassalamualaikum.